Hey everybody, Jeff Challen here again. In this video, I'm gonna give you a brief introduction to our quiz system. So this is a system that you'll use both through the main website to test your knowledge and prepare for your official assessments, and then also it's the same system you use inside the computer-based testing facility where you'll actually take your official graded CS124 quizzes. All right, so uh, let's check it out. So if you go to the quizzes page on the website, and how do we get here? So if we go to the sidebar and hit uh, quizzes, right? What you'll see here are two things, practice quizzes that you can actually take whenever you want. These are designed to prepare you for the real quizzes. And then once you start taking our official CBTF quizzes, you'll see your scores on those quizzes here, also on the grades page. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and start one of these just for fun. Um, this is our practice quiz. You'll see that this border it has here is an indication that it is a practice quiz. You are welcome to get support on the practice quizzes. So there's no, uh, these are designed to help test your understanding. My suggestion is that you try to use them as authentic practice. So, you know, do your work on the daily lessons, solve all the homework problems, go through the practice problems, maybe have a few of the solution walkthroughs. When you feel ready, maybe a day before the quiz, maybe the morning of, you sit down with the practice quiz and really try to do it within the time provided. So you'll see over here on the right, we have a little sidebar that tells you information about this, it tells you how, many, uh, how much time you have left. The normal quizzes will be 50 minutes in the computer-based testing facility. My current score, the number of questions I haven't answered, and whether or not quiz security is enabled. Now inside the CBTF, that environment provides a secure environment. Uh, outside the CBTF, if you want to enable quiz security, what this will do is it will uh, enable some features that will essentially, you know, uh, potentially hide the quiz, you know, if you switch away too many times. I think it's pretty high for this. Yeah, you'll see. Okay. So what happens is when uh, you switch away from the quiz too many times, it's going to close your assessment. Now, because it's a practice quiz, I can just reopen it. Um, let's see. There we go. Um, that that's not an issue. Um, and it, so the, the quiz security is something you don't have to use if you don't want to. It's designed to kind of allow you to create a little bit more of an authentic environment. Um, the reason is inside the computer-based testing facility, you're not gonna have access to Google. You're not gonna have access to the course staff. You're not gonna have access to GPT or whatever LLM tools you use. You're gonna have to be able to solve the problems on your own. Um, okay. Here's uh, a general introduction to the kind of things we ask on quizzes. We are going to ask you to program on quizzes. So there will be programming challenges. These work identically to the homework problems that you'll be solving on the daily lessons, and they're very similar to the homework problems. So if you're able to do the homework problems, you're going to be very well prepared for the quiz. We also have multiple choice questions uh, that are based on the lesson content. So again, if you go through the lesson materials, watch the walkthroughs, review the videos, read the text, interact with the examples, you will be well prepared for these. These are just silly ones, right? Uh, they're just here for, for fun. Now, over here on the right, this tells you a little bit about this question. This is the number uh, of attempts you have. So there's two attempts for this question. If I get it right on the first attempt, I'm gonna get 20 points. If I get it right on the second attempt, I'm gonna get 10 points. If I miss both, like, so let's go ahead and miss both, right? So now you'll see I missed the first attempt uh, and I missed the second attempt. Now the question is disabled. Right, so I, there's no points that I can get on this, and you'll see the points left for me to earn on the assessment has dropped to 80, uh, because this was a 20 point question. Here's another question, this is you know true, false, only one submission, okay, I missed that one too. Now here, what this indicates over here on the right is that 20 points for the first attempt, 10 points for the second attempt, and then an unlimited number of attempts at five points per. Um, so let's go ahead and, and show you how that works. That's not right, that's not right, that's not right. But even though I've missed it, I still could get points on this question if I finally submit the correct answer, right? Um, now on these assessments, when I get the correct answer, it'll show me the correct answer. On ones that I missed, it won't, right? And the goal with the practice assessments is really to make sure that you do develop an understanding of the material. And if you are missing questions on these, you're not prepared for the quiz in the CBTF. So go back and review the lesson material. Okay, um, 
if you are running out of time and you know the time limit here is again designed to give you practice with working on particularly the programming questions under time pressure which is something that you're going to experience inside the testing center um, if you want to extend that though you can hit this button and i'll give you a little bit more time right so that extended it by 10 minutes um, if uh, the quiz does close you should be able to reopen it from the quizzes page and you can go on from there right so sometimes students are like in the middle of working on a programming question and they're about to run out of time so at that point either extend it give yourself a little bit more time or if it does close on you you can reopen it that said keep in mind that inside the cbtf you have 50 minutes so working being able to write the code being able to fix mistakes uh, we will have debugging challenges on the quizzes as well. These are things that you're going to be able to do within that environment. We think, you know, well, we review every quiz every semester. We think that the time that we're providing is sufficient for the quiz content. But, you know, if you get stuck sometimes, you know, it can be hit or miss, right? Like there are times when you can, you know, get to a place where there's something slightly wrong with your code and it's hard to figure out and you may end up running up against the time limit. Right. But we do think that we've given you more than enough time to complete the problems if you're well prepared. OK, so so that's just a quick demo of how to use this system. Again, this is essentially what you'll find inside the CBTF. It's the same interface, the same, um, you know, auto grader. Uh, we want you to feel the reason why we provide the practice quizzes is we want you to feel really comfortable inside the CBTF. You may be uncomfortable because you're challenged by the questions or your understanding of the material, that's okay, but we don't want you to be uncomfortable because of the format. We want that something to be something that's familiar to you. Uh, and again, if you uh, need help with this interface or if you need help with the contents of a practice quiz, feel free to come to the tutoring site and we will be happy to assist you. Okay.